Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swagoon, back at it again with another video, and today we are going to be getting into whether or not you should summon on the brand new Karma Boruto Rekit. Now real quick, I have been taking a while to upload a video because as y'all know, I haven't uploaded the tier list in a long time. So me just having to go in and like move everything around, reorder everybody, and then I had to like add in the new... Uh, like update all of them add in all the brand new screenshots and crop them out and i had to do a bunch of stuff for that so that's why it's been taking me a while i was gonna post it on friday but i decided you know boruto's gonna drop literally in like two days i'll just wait for boruto do a showcase on him do some summons hopefully i can get his kit and then i can just add him into the tier list um the next unit has been leaked and it's gonna be the boy pervy sage Jiraiya. So if you guys want me to wait to do the tier list at the end of the month, once Jiraiya drops, then let me know. I can do that too. But let me know because if not, I'm just going to drop it with Borzo and Jiraiya could be in the next one. So let me know. But let's go ahead and get straight into whether or not you should summon on Karma Borzo. And I'm going to tell you all right now, this unit is hype, my G. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Starting off with the X Ultimate. Look at this Chad, bro. What a... What a swaggy ass picture, bro. He said, hey, hold on. Let me pose. Go ahead and take that picture real quick. Here we go. We got super high compression Rasengan Karma. Travels with transportation technique, then releases a huge, a highly compressed Rasengan, causing massive damage. Uh, so we can ignore all this. Inflicts confusion and seal. Decreases evasion rate large. Increases attack and defense of all allies on the same floor large. Makes everyone invincible at level 8. Large, large changes to huge. Attack power and defense increase huge. Can no longer be stripped. Uh, has an interest going on time for all allies. And grants everybody damage nullification for a set period of time. And makes user immune to recoil for a set period of time. At level 15, cooldown time is ignored for everybody, and the uh, recoil immunity effect increases. Damn. So if you get him to level 8, he gives everybody damage nullification, and he gets immunity to recoil, which means he won't get knocked back or anything like that. He's just going to stand tough and not take any hits. He still take, um, wait, damage nullification too, right? Yeah, so he's not going to take any damage and he's not going to flinch. He's just going to be a fucking tank, which is crazy. And at level 15, everybody can just spam Jutsus, bro. Can you imagine a Naruto Light in Final Room spamming, KLM spamming? Like, that? that's nasty, bro. And that's not even when the red bar is full. That's just in general. When the red bar is full, uh, let's see if he gets revival. Has cooldown time. That's about it. So no revival, which does kind of suck. But the buffs that he gives the whole squad is actually really, really solid. So let's go ahead and check out the sex ultimate real quick. Let's run over here. Let's see. So one hit. And two hits. Alright, so... I think that's from the anime. Like, the, the compressed Rasengan when it's like a green color. So I, I mess with it. I think, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's really quick. So it, it has one hit that sucks enemies in and then a big explosion. So that's going to be really good. So far, he sounds pretty solid in Final Room. So let's let's see. Uh, here's his limit break right here, Rasengan Karma. Sticks out hand and activates Karma before striking with the Rasengan. Oh, I wonder if this is like a counter jutsu. They got rid of those counter jutsus. I was a big fan. Like Kabuto, he turns into a snake and he stays there. And then when someone hits him, he counters. Or like uh, KCM Naruto. I really like those Jutsus. I hope this is one of those. Causing highly accurate damage. Hugely decreases enemies chakra on defense. Inflicts enemies with confusion and seal. Makes allies on the same floor invincible. So X ultimate and limit break gives everyone invincibility. Increases defense large as well as all resistances. Makes him, in makes him invincible for a set period of time. Recovers chakra. Reduces chakra damage received. Restores chakra, HP, blah, blah, blah. Uh, grants damage nullification for a set period of time. So limit break also gives damage nullification. Um, detects traps. Detects is pretty good. Increases damage with status effects. Blah blah blah. Huh? It's not affected. Oh, never mind. The amount of HP if user is attacked while karma is active. So he does. I'm assuming he does the first karma jutsu, and then he does a Rasengan. So it's probably okay. 
If the user is attacked while karma is active, so the first part of his jutsu, the following effect will be aimed at all allies on the same floor instead. Increases the user's defense as well as resistances, reduces shocker damage received, damage they receive, and grants damage nullification for a certain period of time. So if he gets hit while the karma is active, everybody gets the buffs that he got. So everybody gets damage nullification again. So instead of it just being him, it's for everybody. But only if he gets hit while while the karma is active. Oh, that's kind of tough. I, I like the creativity on this one. At just a level 8, large to huge, medium to large, huge can no longer be stripped. Uh, decreases enemies' attack power pierce. So not only that, but he's going to be making everyone a hit less hard, which is going to make, in turn, everybody more tanky. And this is a pierce, so no matter what, that effect is going to take place. Increases user's accuracy um, and boost his X boost gauge. At level 15, accuracy increases to large and the pierce increases to large. So he decreases enemies' attack power by a large amount instead of a medium amount, which is pretty nice. Uh, X ultimate resistances are also medium. And he also gets a 30% um, like tankiness, I guess, is if that's what you want to call it. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is what I was referring to. So when he gets hit there, while he's sucking everyone in right there with his karma, then he's gonna give the buffs to all of his allies but if not then so in this sense i'm not getting hit he's the only one who's gonna get the buffs but overall i really like this jutsu bro it has a really good area that's basically like his very first x ultimate bro so sucks enemies in and then blasts them away with the rasengan very very solid highly accurate jutsu can give the whole team buffs i really really like it Oh, I didn't check the, the Limit Break 3, though. Let's see if he has the same thing that Final Valley Sasuke has. So, uh, where are you? Invincibility, status effects, and damage reduction. But not damage nullification. Yeah, and not in Limit Break 3, either. So, for him, you don't really need to max out his Limit Break. I think at Limit Break 2, it's fine. Because um, there's nothing crazy on Limit Break 3. So his final 4 star performs a palm strike and stirs up the wind, causing damage in our nature resistances. Greatly decreases enemy's chakra on defense, inflicts slowed movement, decreases defense and confusion resistance. I like that. Decreases how long they can be invincible, decreases uh, status effects and damage reduction. Negates stat increases, makes all allies on the same floor invincible. All jutsus, including X Ultimate, give him invincibility and the whole squad, which is nice. Increases user's attack and evasion rate. Makes him immune to status effects, recovers HP, sets off traps. At Jutsu level 8, medium changes to large, increase length of time, uses blah, 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 blah. And a small movement speed buff. So, this Jutsu gives him invincibility, basically decreases confusion, and has triple strip, so very solid. Let's see. I mean, that's not bad. It's really quick. Let's see how the damage is on this one. So, runs across. Oh, that has a great knockback animation, though. Look how far he flies back. That's the one where he rolls hella far, so... I mean, it's not bad. The good thing is that it gives invincibility. It's a quick jutsu, so... He basically forces himself to get invincibility. If he can insta-cast... Either one of these jutsus in Final Room, he's gonna be a menace, bro. In my opinion, on paper, he sounds really, really good. So... In my opinion, is he worth your Shinos? I definitely think he's worth it. I am going to summon just because I want to do a showcase and really give you guys a full in-depth review on how he is. Um, so expect a summoning video, I'll probably drop later today, maybe tomorrow. And I think he sounds good in Final Room and obviously in the main defense because if you got him during the anniversary like two years ago, that man was crazy for a long time. You could still run him in your defense and he's still going to put in work because he does crazy damage. He's a yellow type unit, so he's super tanky. So he, he's he's crazy, bro. But now even with this, he's even better. He has a much more survivability. Triple strip, highly, highly accurate jutsus. The only thing that sucks is he doesn't get revival, but I mean, you could live with that, bro, to be honest. In Final Room, you can live with that because if you have units like Final Valley Naruto, KLM Naruto, they give the whole team revival, Tsunade. So you should be good, bro. In my opinion, I do think he's worth it. He sounds very good on paper. But if you want to save for the boy Pervy Sage, 
Um, then, I mean, go for it. I still do think that Final Valley Sasuke is better than Boruto. So if you're stuck between the both of them, I'd recommend you go Final Valley Sasuke. But if you got Sasuke or you don't really care about him, Boruto is very good on paper. And I think he's going to be very good in Final Room. But once again, Jiraiya is dropping later. So grind up Village Leader World Championship. You can get some free tickets. If you got Sasuke, just grind up, um, try your free ticket luck first, and then try and summoning. Um, but yeah, that's what I recommend. He's definitely worth it if you want to go for it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to that summoning video. Hopefully showcase video if I get lucky enough. And then um, let me know once again if you guys want the tier list now with Boruto or you want me to wait till Jiraiya drops and I'll just add all three of them in at the same time. So let me know in the comment section. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay swaggy, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next one.